Hey everyone, John Pinton from Zolo Realty. This is part four of four of my series, How to Buy a Home in Vancouver. I hope you guys have been enjoying it and getting a lot of value out of it so far. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing Trudeau's first time home buyer incentive program, which rolled out back in September. And with the election that just happened, he also promised that he will be raising the purchase price from around 500,000 up to 800,000 just for properties in Vancouver. Victoria and Toronto. Uh, nowhere else in Canada this will apply. So this is actually great news for first-time homebuyers that are just looking to get into the market because the average price condo for one bedroom and one bath in Vancouver is over 600,000. So the first-time homebuyer incentive program did not apply before back in September. But this with this new promise that he made, um, it's expected in the next few weeks he will announce the new uh, program exact pricing limits uh, that will be raised um, up to around 800,000. They're, they're saying probably around 789,000 up from around 490,000 which is a huge jump for Vancouver residents that want to get into the market which is great news. I really expect this to simulate the, the economy and the growth of sales in the, the whole lower mainland specifically in Vancouver where people weren't able to take advantage of this program uh, as to what other people were doing in Langley where there are prices under 500000 still. So this is great news for people that lived close to Vancouver and that want to start out with a, a property of their own. So basically the first time home buyer loan uh, is giving out $1.25 billion over three years interest-free loan. And so basically it's a Get, taking shares in your house. They're going to give up to 5% for a used home and 10% if it's a brand new home. And then when you go to resell your property, they are going to ask for that 5% back. And so if your property has gone up in value, they're not going to ask for 6% more. They're just going to ask for the 5% back. But then they'll obviously have made money if, if your value of the home has increased. But they also go down with you as well. If your uh, property has decreased in value, they're going to take a hit from that as well. So they are taking a risk. Uh, doing an interest-free loan, giving this out to everyone. So it's a win-win for for everyone. It stimulates the economy for the government and it helps you out uh, save money. They're estimating it's already saving people about $286 per month based on a purchase of a $500,000 property. There are some requirements. You have to make less than $120,000 a year in combined annual income, which is one of the key um, requirements for the program and uh, if you do want to qualify for the program you do have to uh, submit a form and and then get apl and apply that way but most people do get approved but you just have to go through the steps and it should be okay so yeah it's five percent uh, for new homes and ten percent for for new home for new homes five percent for used homes and ten percent for for new homes so it's a great program uh, to stimulate uh, the market and it's going to help a lot of first-time home buyers out which have been having a tough time get in so the, the Trudeau federal government is, is doing everything they can to to alleviate the pressure on on um, that jump into the market and this extra five percent is roughly going to save you about three thousand dollars a year in annual mortgage payments so that is uh, basically the gist of the program it is expected to as I said come out um, in level two for Vancouver uh, up to 789000 by end of November, I'm thinking, around the budget, November 20th. So probably by the end of November, we'll hear more details about what they have to say and uh, how they're going to implement this uh, program going forward. But it's very exciting news, and I just want to let you guys know on what the, the up-to-date status is uh, going forward into the fall and into uh, January of 2020. So that concludes this four-part series about how to buy a home in Vancouver. I will be making a new series shortly on how to list a home in Vancouver and how to sell it. So stay tuned for that and hope you guys have a good one. Thanks. Bye.